And let's see how things are gonna turn out here between a battle of two teams that are yet to find the loss. Two unbeaten squads. Aganon scores to start things off. Petron, 1-0. It also really pays to have a tall um, uh, setter para dito sa RC Cola Air Force with the lima hulangan on the front. And let's see how she can work things out. But look at the blocking up front here by Petron. They go to the other side and Morada scores. And you can see, it looks like they're keen on Bindin Santiago, but all of a sudden, Petron is going to other players early here in this match. Because maybe itong uh, Petron Blaze Spikers have already expected the attention on Bindin. That's why all the other players are just trying to rise up to the challenge of stepping up while Bindin is being blocked. Well, there, Bindin conspiring there on that block. Good dig. They keep this alive. Aganon just sends it over. Boy, the crowd really into it here early. Arcicola looking to have this to be their first point. But there, Doug. Adana just sends it over once again. Great point we're watching. Santiago he was not on the same page that time on the set. That was a good um, play, supposedly. <laughs> that might have been a, a surprise for the RC Cola Air Force if that uh, if Dindy would have made it. First point now for RC Cola Air Force. <laughs> Dindin blocked. Agano sends that wide. <laughs> There has been a lot of uh, miscues between the setter of Petron Bay Spikers and Dindin so far. So let's see how they're gonna adjust. Maaga pa naman in this game, they have a lot of chances. Some people are saying this might just be a preview of the championship. Dindin Santiago finally scores. And the crowd goes nuts every time he scores. Goes well. And also because there wasn't a blocker in front of Dindin that time. Dindin now to serve. She'll be at the back row and she does attack from back there as well. And Chavo keeps that alive. Madonna just sends it over. That goes long. Yoko not able to control that one. Good service from the Indy. Big block once again by Petron and RC Cola Air Force having difficulty early. Santiago, with a great dig. Madonna going wide and running out of real estate. She was aiming for uh, the first line. But medyo na palakas yung spike nito. I know it's so early in the game, but I think what RC Cola uh, Philippine Air Force needs right now is a little bit more energy. So far, Petron has overpowered them when it comes to energy. Violation will be called. Let's check in with Ricky Flores. Now speaking of crowd favorites, you might just see another crowd favorite in action today talking about Gretchen. Well, her doctor's finally cleared her to play, and since her right shoulder injury, she, however, says that she hasn't been training a lot, but she's very eager to play. Just in case Coach George chooses to field her in, she's very ready. Anthony Miyaka? Thanks a lot, Ricky. Well, talk about another spark plug that you have coming off the bench just in case they need her. 
you know, even if she hasn't the practice in a long time, once you're a volleyball player, you will always know how to turn it up. You will always know the kind of energy that you need just when you play. At sometimes, baka may extra gana ka pa dahil exactly. medyo matagal ka na hindi nakakapaglaro yeah. eh. Medyo may giggle factor pa, which sometimes can be good. And there is Gretchen on your screen. She is available just in case she will be called upon. But right now, Dintin Santiago scores once again, increasing the lead of Petron back up to two. There has been a disclaimer to turn off the flash for some of photographers natin in the venue. Because, of course, we're going to be looking at some of our players, especially when they're going up there for those skills, for those blocks. Casas gets into the scoring act. You know what I like about Joy Cassis is she's ha she has matured a lot. She knows that uh, at this point in the game, she needs to be more patient, and that's what she's been doing so far. Who did she go to? Straight to the libero. Zapanta gets blocked. No coverage. was there. No coverage at that time for Petron. Lahat sila naka nakakumpul in front. And this is what you were talking about. That normally the libero's role. Nonetheless, we are tied at six early on here in this match. Morada just gets that over. That's off the block in RC Cola with their first place to the lead. So far, RC Cola Air Force has been crawling their way slowly but surely, but they're up right now, 76. And Cass is serving once again her third time there, and it's not a charm. Well, so far, this is what, we, what everybody expected, a really tight affair between these two unbeaten squads. These are the numbers there, Michael Murada. Last time out, Yonko tries to score. Zapanta just gets it over, and a violation would be called on RC Cola Air Force. It's a point for Petron, which brings us to our first technical timeout of set number one and a one point lead enjoyed by Petron. Boy, Yonko has proven to be a real revelation here. That was a dagger. I didn't expect that coming from a timeout. Look at her number, 16 points against Cagayan the last timeout. And of course, she is our third overall pick during the first ever draft. Showing exactly why she was highly touted. From the back row, Santiago Doug. Running out of space. I like her decision there, but nakalimutan niya she was almost out of bounds. Arce Cola now with the lead. Yongo back to serve. De Los Santos just hitting that off the block. Veteran moves. Exactly. When she hit it off the blocker. <laughs> well, she went up there and she saw the defense was there. She was, she was in trouble. There's nowhere else you would put the ball but on the blocker's hand. And she's back there to serve. Great serve down the line. She's there for the dig. Santiago blocked but scores nonetheless. It was a little bit of an awkward shot but she still makes it. And she's there talking to the center saying, I still need it to be a, a little, little higher. higher. Yeah. I can jump over everybody here. <laughs> so just bring it up there. Ako nang bahala. Tass is there. Misjudge that. Miscommunication between the libero and the joy Tass is. 
Yeah, let's not just do the serve once again. That time, Bustillo got it. No control that time on the reception of Zapanta. Score will go over to Arcicola Air Force. Ortiz with a serve. They team down by one. Agana just sends that over. Wow, great cross court hit. That was a quick ball. Hindi na kaya ako to Reyes. Now it's Santiago up in front. Petron hoping she can do more damage. Ortiz with a serve again. That time, she sends it long already. The second mistake on serve by RC Cola Air Force. On the outside, the coverage is there for Morada. Dindin sending it over. Gustilo was there. Miscommunication that time by Petron. Now serving for Arcicola Air Force is Julian Gabaliejo. Running hit. Oh. Yung nga sabi niya, basta itaas mo lang, ako nang bahala. She called that one too. Before this set, she called that one. She was uh, asking for the ball dun nga sa likod for running spikes. And that the blockers were there, but it didn't really matter, huh? It didn't matter <laughs> at all. <laughs> That's a poor serve from Asangkai. And she knew it the moment she hit it. At tabla na naman tayo at 13. Actually, before the game, I was talking to Coach Clarence Esteban, and I was asking him, who is gonna go up against Dindin Santiago? And he was very confident saying Ortiz. You know? Wow. Yeah. So we'll see how that one goes right now. That's something for us to look out for. That matchup. Aganon sends that down. You know, Aganon is just the one lady who you do not leave open at the open spike. And you want to know why Miyaka said that? That's exactly what's gonna happen. Santiago, look at her last game as Miyaka talked about it during the pregame. 31 huge points. Ooh. Violation is going to be called. And that was clear. Yeah, it was already over on the other side. Two point lead enjoyed right now by Petron. Did he go right back to Yonko? No, did he go to the other side? Great dig. Aganon clips the line. There's a lot of top spin on that shot. And that will bring us to the second technical timeout of set number one. And Petron with the biggest lead of the set at three. The emperor of Mueller land, yes. So can you tell us more about the innovations of Mueller? Well, the reason we're number one uh, globally is that we have a continuous stream of good new products. That's what's uh, always put us in the forefront. We have a team of uh, uh, me uh, biomechanical engineers, five of them, that are working on new products every day. Well, that's awesome. Well, once again, thank you so much for being here, and we hope you enjoy the games. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Thanks, Ricky. And as you can see, the emperor himself also Mueller. Mr. Mueller. Mr. Mueller himself <laughs> is here. Look at this quick timeout here being called by RC Cola right after that technical timeout. They yielded another point, and this is the biggest lead of Petron. Yes, and just like, you know, in basketball, when you're coming off a timeout, this is the, you know, the least thing that you want to see. Another point from Petron Blaze Spikers. Back to the action. Let's see if... 
that timeout will help out RC Cola. This first set slipping away. Tintin Santiago still on the serve. That looks like it's gonna stay in. No, it goes just out. From where I was sitting, I, I thought it was inside, but I guess not. Well, it was close. And that is why we have the lineman. <laughs> well, well, he's standing right, right in front of that line, so he's got a better angle exactly. to it. <laughs> That's gonna go right over. Santiago is there, and nobody back. De Los Santos saw that space, and she found it. Actually, Zapanda, all, uh, I mean, uh, uh, Tapik actually already went and ran, but, he's, but she stopped. I don't know why she stopped. <laughs> she was already there. I guess she figured that she's not going to be able to do it. That's kept alive. De Los Santos with a big hit. And now at five points, this is the largest lead enjoyed by Petron. There wasn't a hand there in front of De Los Santos at that time. Missed opportunity there on the serve. Already numerous ones here. From Maganon. The Philippine Super League All Filipino Conference is presented to you by PLDT Home Evolution. Limitless sharing with a family size connection of PLDT Home DSL, the number one home broadband. That stays inside. Actually, usually when you're uh, at the back line, you know, they say that uh, once the ball is over you, you have to let it go. But at that point, it was all over uh, Jen Reyes. I guess but Jen Reyes <laughs> didn't see the spin. It was spinning <laughs> downwards. Violation, that was clear. Coach Clarence is talking about, excuse me, Coach George talking about the fact that, you know, the call that was made, I think it was the right call though. Yes, it is, it was, it was. Pero sinasabi niya, kasi normally, yung tumatawa kasi nun, yung second referee, hindi yung first referee. Right, because she's right here. Exactly. Nonetheless, it was the right call. Yes, sabi ng first referee, ako naman yung in charge, ako talaga yung mas mataas. Right. So, nakita ko, tinawag ko, huwag ka na magreklamo. 2017 Petron still in control of set number one. Wow, how did that get through the defense? But Caballero scores. We need to see more of that from Caballero, from Ortiz, from Joy Casas. You, you cannot let Petron get away this easy. And now, suing for time is Petron because their lead, which at one point was at five, is now just down to one. Run, run, run. So, it was muna malit yung blogger dito sa running, malit ang blogger dito sa kinaka itindin, ito yung malaki. So, kung mursi ka. Ngayon, ngayon, may dito ka to market to zone one. Okay? Luanag. Ito yung ito yung ano ng RC dito mahina sa 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 Okay, okay. pagkalangaling call names bigay sa backline kagad. Ayun, pagka pagka miss receive tuloy yung uh, bay natin. Girls hindi kagad ng bola. Watch this piece of action. No coverage for 
for Petron at that time. And during the time out, you can just see Coach George telling his girls to capitalize on the shorter blockers that RC Cola Air Force has now. And also he mentioned, he said, you know, if you're in trouble, go to the back line. And obviously who's in the back line? Santiago. None other than. <laughs> ah! And she uses her left. <laughs> Well, she mistimed that when you could see, and we are tied at 20 here. Last-minute decisions on air. And Semana just checked in. We're seeing here second serve. That's not going to go through. Coach Klein's system is shaking things up, putting uh, Semana inside with the uh, Lima Kulangan. They're playing 4 2. Two setters inside for our Sakona Air Force. Let's see how that move works out. That's a poor serve. You saw it. Look at the number for errors 10 for Petron and RC Cola with a 7. And you would think RC Cola would be ahead. But we are tied at 21. Business end of set number one. They go to Santiago, and she delivers. You know, one might ask, how are you gonna defend someone as tall and as athletic as Dindin Santiago? And I, before I actually asked that to my former coach, Coach uh, Ramil, and he said, you know, it's all about the timing, the timing ng talon, and saan mo ipoposition yung kamay. I thought you said, get a ladder. <laughs> a gun on his block. Gustilo gets to that. And Dindin Santiago says, I can't do it with my spike, I'll get it with a block. She scores one way or another. And that is why she was the number one draft pick. Everybody wanted to get her. Support your favorite volleyball star in the PSL face-off. Log on to www.solarentertainment.corporation. SolarEntertainmentCorporation.com to cast your vote starting on Tuesday. <laughs> nice score there from Arcicola. And they're now within one. The Philippine Super League All Filipino Conference is presented to you by PLDT Home Evolution. Limitless sharing with the family size connection to the PLDT Home DSL, the number one home broadband. Good setup, and look at Santiago adjusting there. At first, she approached a little bit too early, and then she was very patient at that time and got that point. Masangkai with the serve. Set point now for Petron. They send it to the other side, and De Los Santos scores. And that is where we put a close to our first set. 25-22, Petron takes this one by three points. compared to RC Cola, uh, Philippine Air Force. And I would say that is because, you know, they can't get a decent receipt. And it all starts from there. Let's see if they can clean that up. And if they're not, it's going to be all downhill. Gretchen Ho is ready for action, but maybe they just might not call her in. Yes. Because so far, so good. 
as when far I, as the players are concerned here for Petron. What I want to see for RC Cola in this set is actually up up their um, energy. Something that they really lack during uh, the first set. You know, I know these girls are very energetic outside the court. They just need to translate that here. Let's see if that translation is what's going to come. Give Makulanga to start things off. Set number two action coming your way. Petron taking the first one. If you're just joining us, 25-22. That was very close to going out. They decided to save it. Chance now for RC Cola. Cases. Doug. Santiago scoring again. That was very slim. Ooh, tough call. Our linesmen were calling it outside. Our referee calls it. And that is why Coach Clarence is on his feet. Gustilo, great reception. Cases dug. Murada dug as well, but she will score nonetheless. But nonetheless, Petron gets that point again, and they are up three to nothing. Let's check in with Ricky. Now, you know, it didn't take long for Coach Clarence and the rest of our Cipolla Air Force to determine what killed them in that first set, and that is Dindin Santiago. And Niaka, you know, your coach was right about timing. Coach Clarence put it this way. Alam na natin na mataas tumalon. Based on the angle, mahaba na yung bola, kayang kaya dapat habulan. Galaw-galaw tayo sa defense. So get ready to see a, a very, very, you know, a, light, a lighter our Cipolla Air Force team this set. Niaka? Well, you know what? It's one thing to know what you can try to do against Din Din, but it's another thing actually executing it. Yes, but as you can see, itong RC Cola is a, is a little bit lighter here in the set. They are a little bit quicker, but Petron is quicker. Also. <laughs> also. The Philippine Super League all Filipino Conference is presented to you by PLDT Home Evolution. Limitless sharing with the family size connection of PLDT Home DSL, the number one home broadband. Santiago back to serve her team up by three. So far, she's got eight attack points and one block. And now an ace. You know, you mga ace points na ganyan, it actually really digs deep for the opponent. Like, that hurts you a lot. You know? Kasi iisa lang yung nag attack niya, walang masyadong movement. It was just one more, one movement. To get it. And you cannot allow your opponent to get off to a very good start at the start of the second set, especially after losing the first. Yonko sends that long. And especially for going up against Kandron, you cannot allow them to be up by five early in this set. And you can see RC Cola Air Force's body language right now. Like, nobody's trying to cheer up anybody. Everybody just looks confused. Well, no timeout yet being called here, I guess. Coach Clarence is just going to wait till the technical timeout, but his team is right now being manhandled at 7-1. And you know, this team is not a rookie team. They've been together for a long time. Um, RC Cola Air Force is made up of eight Air Force players. So you would think that they are that they know each other's weaknesses and strengths about. It. But so far no communication. Except they're not blocked at the net. They finally get a block and they finally get another point. No, check that, it goes through. And it is now eight.
VT Home Devolution, limitless sharing with a family size connection of PLDT Home DSL, the number one home broadband. Dindin Santiago serving once again her team up 8 to 1. Good service. And talking about serves, look at the service numbers. Great effort by Reyes. And it is now 9 1 Petron. You know, my coach once told me, if you're low on energy, the first thing that you do is move your feet. And it will go from there. And that is what's lacking for RC Cola Air Force here. Nobody is moving. There's a lot of holes inside their court. And Where that's why, once again, start? I guess, team captain Wendy Simane has been inserted. But that set to topic is well read. That's not going to go over. Timeout will be called here by coach Clarence because this set is really not going in the way that they were designing. Let's listen in. As we mentioned earlier, Coach Clarence even said it, they look stiff inside. Parang frustrated na frustrated na sila. Well, you know, it's hard not to be frustrated because they're down by nine points, but Geramos is going to check in. So maybe infusion of new blood just might help them out as Tapic takes a seat. And Coach Clarence is definitely looking for that spark plug and let's see if Geramos is in. Then one, Santiago with the serve again. Yonko is dug. That great receive by Dindin. Semana can't control it. And it's another point. This is a 10 point lead established now by Petron. And you know what? Din Din is actually taking advantage of this. She knows RC Ola Air Force is getting frustrated. And here she is still loading her service with more power. Every service. And why not? While your opponent is down, kick them. Good footwork there by De Libero. But it's not over. Aganon thought that was touched. He wasn't able to get that over. Four touches is the call. At least Arsicola Air Force has now a break. But the question is, that's a huge <laughs> deficit to try to overhaul. But like we said, like what we said, Bilogam Bola, you will never know. Laban lang sila na laban. Tignan natin. It starts with the serve from Cassis. That's two points in a row. And that's the kind of blocking that Coach Clarence needs his girls to do starting this point of the game. It's all about the timing, the timing ng talo nilang dalawa. Chance once again here for RC Cola. Yonko. Yonko again scores. Good recognition there by Semana. She knows that Yonko is free all the way. Nakaporma na dun sa dulong. Good recognition. Cases with another serve coming. This is the rally that they were looking for. They need to be able to inch as close as they can. And Casa sends that out. But knowing Joyce Casa, she will bounce back from that. Well, she's going to have to wait, though, for one full rotation. But let's see if she can come up with some points on the attack. Agano with the serve.
Running hit, and it's outside. Coach Clarence stands up once again. He is not pleased with the attacks. Six attacks for Aganon already here today. Once again, it's their receive. They cannot have a good attack if they don't have the perfect reception. Well, you have to say that you at least have a lot of points in our defense. Pero malaki pa rin yung hinahabal na. They're still down by eight. Ouch! Look how quick that was. Amorado likes those quick ones. Perfect set of the defense was also late. And Patron making them pay. Amorado now with the serve. Ouch. She had something else on her mind. The palakas lang yung throw na to the side. Akala niya, puntos na eh. Akala niya, makakaisa siya. But still, they're up by four. Two points away from our second technical timeout of set number two. Firing there for that wall. That's right. Running hit Ortiz dug. The other side, that's still alive. Great effort by Gustilo. Gustilo again. Ooh, the set was right in between Ortiz and Caballejo. And that's going to bring us to our second technical timeout. It has still been all Petron Blaze Spikers here in set number two connection of PLDT Home DSL, the number one home broadband. You know, I like how PSL fans are making a PSL a, a part of their Sundays already. It is now becoming a habit. Yes. Go outside, Caballero is blocked and nobody back there. Yoke will try to get there, not going to get there in time. It is now a 11-point lead. In a little bit, I might need a calculator. <laughs> Actually, that has been a common mistake for RC Cool uh, Air Force uh, this game. Always lang na iiwanan yung backboard. That's why if there's like a block, it's so easy for them to score a point. Even Cassis cannot get a simple service return. Coach Clarence looking around. Maybe he needs to substitute some of these girls already. Looking forward to possibly the third set. Santiago will score again. You know, like I said, it's the receipt. Kung masyado mataas yung adrenaline natin, talagang maninigas yung katawan natin. Yun ang nangyayari sa atin ngayon. Receive natin, naninigas na tayo, hindi na tayo nakakagalaw. Ha? Si ano lang tayo, eh, habulin lang natin kahit pa padikitin natin yan. Kasi sobrang layo na yan, okay? Igalaw natin kung anong galaw natin. Hindi yun ang ginagalaw natin. I think what Coach Clarence is trying to say is that you guys are forgetting to enjoy the game. That is where you're most relaxed, diba? And that's where your usual game comes out when you're having fun. 
But it's hard to have fun when you look up at the scoreboard and you see yourself <laughs> down by 13. But I get your point. No, that, that's that's a good point. And at the same time, katulad niya na sinabi niya, habulin niyo na lang. He's not necessarily saying na mananalo pa rin tayo dito. But look at the set two errors in comparison. Six, layo. six to three. And definitely Petron is just taking advantage of every error. You know, and that's, that's a lot. <laughs> Too high for Dindin Din at that time. Pati siya natawa na lang. Well, they can now afford to make these mistakes because they've got a virtually insurmountable lead. Pero nabagit mo nga, bilog naman yung bola. Po, pwede pa nga to. Tignan natin. Cases gets a hand on that one. That's going to get through. And why is the crowd going wild? Because Gretchen Ho is checking in. Crowd favorite. She is now probably warming up for the next set. That's a very good point. You'd like to be able to ease her into that third set, which obviously is going to be a little tougher. Crowd is definitely happy about that. Santiago dug. But Casas says, take this. That is the Casas that we've been missing all game long. We need to see more of that from Joyce Casas. Shayung, even if she is not the team captain of the team, it's her energy that's been missing. Her energy will start everything for Arzicola. We'll see if she can sustain that energy to make sure she infects her teammates. Still a 10-point advantage enjoyed by Petron. Just when you were trying to build up some sort of momentum, you stop it. But maybe they're trying to, you know, That's remove all nice errors nice. already. Di no? Di ba lena second set? Let's concentrate on the third. Ilabas na natin lahat ng mga sa samang bagay ngayon. Service They just can't get the break. Petron, three points away from set number two. Outside. Service is wide. Mike Ortiz now serving for Arcigola Air Force. Ortiz with a serve. It's not going to get over. Would you say that Petron is also trying to relax a little bit more now because they're also reserving their energy for the third set because for sure RC Cola Air Force is going to come back and they know this too. They go to Casas. Casas gets that through and scores once again. Lead is down to nine. But still, Sampu pa rin yung hinahabol. And now, just two points away is Petron after another service error. And back to 10 points. And Dindin is back in the line. The last time she went up to serve, she scored, they, their team scored about eight, five, six yeah. points, or maybe even eight, exactly. Gonna close out the set, and that's gonna help them. Murado with the point. Check that, that's De Los Santos. Yeah. It's now set point for Petron. 
Who would have thought a scoreline of 24-13? I never thought. <laughs> Nobody, I think, I inside this building this. expected that. They go to the other side, and Gretchen scores. <laughs> yes. Scores the final point. <laughs> Coach Clarence not happy about that last call, but nonetheless, it really wouldn't matter. 25-13, Petron. Let's look at the numbers of set number two and two, and this was a total domination coming from Petron. As you can see, attacks-wise, 10 to 3 in favor of Petron. Petron just really capitalized every single error RC Cola Air Force had during the second set. Now the big question is, how can RC Cola rise from that defeat? I would say all they have to do is, you know, work on their footwork, move a little bit more energy inside the court, and get as quick as Petron is playing right now. The Philippine Super League All Filipino Conference is presented to you by PLDT Home Team Evolution, limitless sharing with the family size connection of PLDT Home DSL. Yes. Mozi Ravenna and Mon Ravenna inside the house, and of course the um, uh, organizer of. Um, one of the volleyball, um, what do you call this, the Rising Stars. Oh, that's it, yes. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> that's the first and ever clinic for volleyball players aged 13 to 15. And that, of course, will spearhead once again the grassroots development program. And picking up where we left off, it is 1-0. Petron taking the first point here in the third. This is where Arcicola has got to be very careful. They cannot allow Petron to get onto a huge lead. Not at this stage. Once they start 3-0, they're going to have a big problem. See if they can tighten things up. Morada will send that long. But you know, for Petron Blaze also, they cannot take this light. Somehow, at this point in the game, RC Cola Air Force will find a way to call back in this game. Well, remember, just looking at the records, obviously, the squad of RC Cola has an even better record at 3-0 compared to Petron's 2-0 win-loss column. And this is why this is so unlikely for them. You would think that they would dominate, you know, or even go head to head with Beton, but so far, they are two sets to nine. We expected a very close match, and so far, that second set was the farthest thing from what everybody expected. Santiago with the serve. Her team up by one. Her very first error here today on serve. Wow. <laughs> it's almost like a glitch <laughs> in the universe. <laughs> Especially right now with the way they're playing. I was gonna say, so far, go good ball movement coming from RC Cola Air Force, but that was again a miscue in the reception. This actually feels like a quicker set for both teams right now. Let's check it out with Ricky. Alam niyo yung atmosphere sa Petron sa ilang saye. Everyone was all smiles. Coach George basically said these three words: service, receive, and block, as a reminder of why this Petron squad is up two sets to nothing. So he wants them to keep doing what they're doing and to end high fives. We're going around while saying, "Okay, guys, last set, last set." Anthony Miaka. Well, they are looking forward to making quick work here of their opponents. And so far, so good. 
good save on the part of Sangkai on that last play. Kala nila hindi na abut dun sa nete. It is now five to two. Kung napakasaya dito on the Petron side, you just saw on your screens just how gloomy it was on the other side. De Los Santos just gets up there, scores, and the lead is up to four. And you know, sabi nga ni, uh, ni Ricky na napakasaya na to sa side ng Petron Place. And I would think, you know, they wouldn't want an, a fourth set to come. That's a very good point. Let's listen into this quick timeout called here in the third. Sobrang iwas na, sobrang iwas na ating doon sa bola. Nagkaka-error na. Hila ko mo lang, mabila ko ka lang, cover na lang sila. Tapos recover na lang tayo. Si, si, ano, yun talagang target na dito sa low line. Ready agad, nag-swing na yung kamay. Stop na. Ready! Ready! Another quick time out there called by RC Cola, Cola Air Force and uh, you know why not they're down again by four and like what we said a while ago you wouldn't want Petron to be ahead by four at such an early stage of the set. Good block. Yes another one back to back from Morado and De Los Santos. Zapanta lets that go. Good it's decision on Zapanta to just back off from that or else matatawagan siya ng <laughs> She was actually glad that she didn't push through with it. That was presence of mind at the final minute she just realized, ah, palabas na to ah. Semana, the team captain is coming in. They need her help. Lamang yung kalaban ng lima. Going down the line, that's out. That's going to bring us to our first technical timeout of the third set. And again, Petron with a totally dominating performance here in the third. And cast your vote starting this coming Tuesday. The Philippine Super League All Filipino Conference is presented to you by PLDT Home Devolution. Limitless sharing with a family size connection of PLDT Home DSL, the number one home broadband. 9-2 is our score. Patuloy pa rin ang magandang pinakita ng Petron. But also because, you know, RC Cola Air Force is making it easy for Petron. I'm sorry to say that, but you know. No, but you know what? This is actually not the big encounter everybody was expecting. Yes. This was a team that was 3-0, and a team that's 2-0. And, and we were saying it was, it, this can be the finals game, you know. Um, a potential fi a finals matchup. But it is proving to be a one-sided street here so far. Zapanta gets that through. Now everybody's joining the act. You know, individually, um, they have, RC Cola Air Force have good blockers. It's just that the timing of talon nilang dalawa is off right now. Well, they've got to get it on quickly if they want to be able to show some more of a fight. Yoko gets that through. And I can see the effort of Semana trying to distribute the ball from all angles, but it's really up to their attackers to lift up, to amp up the energy some more. Boy, Santiago there with that shot from the back. Let's see if they go right back to her. Nope. But it's going to be a score nonetheless from De Los Santos. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Has not, she has not really needed to flex her muscles because the rest of her teammates have come to play. But she's also have been all over the court. She's doing good, a good job in receiving the ball from the back line. She's doing a great job in attacking in her service. All around performance once again. That's going to go over. And Santiago not there in time to come up with the block. 
but it is still 11 to 5. Petron. I think what RC Cola Air Force needs is just that one dagger on Paspai. You know, para sila. Yeah, you parang, oh, there you go. And let's see if they can get that. Or at least a solid block. Santiago sends that long. And, you know, what's even worse for RC Cola Air Force right now is that their points are coming from the errors of the it's not hard work points, it's Tama. more of errors. Well, you need to be able to score some of your own points if you want to be, you know, you want to have some chance of coming in, you know? They, right, they go right back to Santiago and she delivers. Six point lead enjoyed by Petrona Zapanta. Heads to the service area. Great effort by Reyes. Nice block up front. That threw the block. And Zapata wasn't aware. As you can see, Joy Cass is signaling to Semana, let's do this, you know. Sapa. Tignan natin kung makakahabol pa sila lalo. That's Joy Casas, look at her numbers here today. Four attacks so far, one serve in three sets. They have really held her in check. Nagajasi <laughs> Santiago, but there was the proper timing on the block. And that is Ortiz. That is what Coach Clarence Esteban has been waiting for all game long. Ortiz standing up one on one against Bing Bing. Well, it worked that time for Ortiz scoring a point and bringing her team, RC Cola, Philippine Air Force, to within four. <laughs> Running hit, bang! But it goes out! RC Cola Air Force was lucky at that point. It, that would have been so nice if it was inside. But the lead has been cut down to three. Ito na yun. This is their chance. And Santiago once again asks for another one. And the lead has been cut down to two. And so far, no timeouts being called here by Mr. They're not worried. Coach Clarence, excuse me, Coach George, allowing his players to work this out. Let's see if it turns out to be a good decision. Nice service. And good save by Jen Reyes. Santiago is blocked once again. And who's there? Ortiz. <laughs> Ortiz. This is what Coach Clarence has been waiting for. Finally, she showed up here in the third set. One on one. Just by her lone fam. At yun ang binanggit mo na matchup na dapat natin hanapin. And finally, we're getting it here in the third set. And good job by Joy Fences. Putting all her services inside. Good eye by Dindin. She saw a hole, took advantage of it. Like can, it was nothing. <laughs> and how can you not see when you're six foot one and when you jump, you can see just about everything? Manila Bay. may hang time pa, I extra few seconds on top. Now a little bit of breathing space enjoyed by Petron. Let's keep this alive. Uh oh. Santiago landing on the foot of her teammate. Um, it looks like she's bothered by her right ankle. Well, she's flexing it. Let's see if we can see that on the replay. 
Well, it happened previously. Yes. Hindi na siya makagalaw para humabol dun. Not a good sign here for Petron because their lead has been cut down to one. And Santiago looks good to go. At this point, Arcicola Air Force don't want to go back to their previous ways. Now, wala na namang coverage behind the blockers. They can't go back to that. They're already here, just down by two. Look at the numbers of Dindin Santiago already, and they have not gone exclusively to her. But, but she, she still has 13. 17, 17 <laughs> points total and 13 attack points that she just mentioned. And she scores from the back row and not with the strongest of attacks. Like I said, all around so far in this game. Not the main point of Petron for today's game, but still able to give 14 attacks so far. Puntos pa rin, grabe. It's almost like hindi, hindi niya pinipili yung bola. Siya yung pinipili yung bola. At patuloy pa rin yung kanyang pagsascore, but that is her second mistake. <laughs> Semana was there. They go outside Caballejo. From the back row, oh, Santiago. Again. Quick play. De Los Santos. Block. And here comes Arcicola Air Force. Just down by one. And after that block. After that block of Ortiz, you can just see all their faces light up. At yun na, ito yung hinahanap nila yung buhay. This is it. Ortiz with a serve. It's a good one. Nice. Agano, dug by Ortiz. Ah. Nunco sends that long. Medyo may kasama. First. Excellent job. Reyes. Excellent digs, Reyes with 12 compared to Gustillo only with 7. And you can already see that because itong uh, Petron is also leading with attacks. And it all comes from their excellent digs. That's an excellent point. The Philippine Super League All Filipino Conference is presented to you by PLDT Home Team Evolution. Limitless sharing with a family size connection of PLDT Home DSL, the number one home broadband. Was no good. Coach George not happy there. There was a little bit of a confusion there. They thought they saved it with a pancake. <laughs> Petron up by three. No support there from Zapanta. Quick set and Morada scores. I like how Morada twisted her wrist a little bit. Parang hinawi niya to the side. That was very smart. And Morada can really get up there as she goes back to serve. Nice dig. We're just going to get this one over. Chance now for Arshikola Yonko. From the back row, Santiago oh. runs out of space. She had a good idea there because you can see that she's going to the side. But she's going to the side. And this is what the coach said. He said, don't go to the side. You should go to the side. It's a big space. Quick set, De Los Santos. Outside, once again. 
And the lead is down to one. Zapanta dug. But Semana just couldn't get to it. I think the father said it. Nagulo siya ni Caballero. Anin yung Ramos, check that. Kala niya makakapakan niya. Pero Santos with a serve. Her team up by just two. Gonna go outside. Zapata allows it to, and it's now a three-point lead enjoyed by Petron. A timeout coming? Yes. A thousand timeout on RC Cola Air Force. Tignan natin kung ano sasabihin ni Coach Clarence. It all boils down to receive. Coach Clarence wants that perfect receive and then let Semana handle the setting. Kasi ang lalakas ng spikers, ng attackers nila in front right now. And how many times have you mentioned that already in the coverage? Pero para hindi nga nangyayari yun. Galing doon sa kala. Tignan natin po ngayon, makikinig na sila. And that's very unlikely for our Cicola Air Force. Nice serve from De Los Santos. There's a great reception in this set. And it goes outside. Pero sabi na, it was tipped, they said. Yeah, sayang yun. It was too down the line. Lisa Ramos serving. Ramos will serve her team down by two. Santiago thought that was going to go out of bounds. Well, we just got a report earlier. Ricky was looking towards us and said, yung kanina yung natapilok si Dindin Santiago. She just gave a thumbs up and she said, wala raw sakit. Who oh. are you? Are. No, not only that, to be yet. To be oh. young. Kita mo? Parang wala nga sakit eh. Yung kanyang talon, parang wala nga nangyari eh. What? Tapilo? Kailan siya na tapilo? Parang wala. Parang hindi nangyari. Do you remember when you were 20? <laughs> and so fresh. Na yung mga tapilo na ganun, hindi mo nararamdaman. Iikot-ikot mo lang yung, yung uncle mo. Okay ka na. Was Ortiz. Ortiz answers back quickly. Yung ba hindi hindi mo kanina na talagang baon na baon na tila. Yes, and I hope RC Cola Air Force actually takes advantage of that energy. It's right there. Casas with six points here today. Way below the numbers that she's been producing in those three victories. Santiago goes down the line, and that hits a player. Sayang. Lalabas na sana yun, tumama sa paan ni Gustilo. Yeah. Don't you just hate it when you didn't even try to? <laughs> but somehow nahanap pa rin yung body part. Yun nga, kala ko labas na eh. Nandun pala yung paa ko. Masangkay, good serve. Semana goes outside. Nice. And Zapanta can't control it. Only down by one. This is turning out to be a very close set. This is the kind of set we were expecting from the very beginning. Actually, yes. Because, you know, RC Cola Air Force is not 3-0 by accident. At some point in this game, they will really come back. Oh! You just can't do anything about Bang. it <laughs> Ibang class talaga si Santiago. She's, she's got her 20 markers already. I'm not even surprised. 
and hardly breaking a sweat. Block. They go outside. Yonko sends it long. And no touch. It is now set point, match point, Petron looking to give Arsicola Air Force their first loss of the tournament. <laughs> Third mistake on serve. And a timeout is going to be called. It's not yet over. Gratina Motosin coach George not leaving anything to chance. Quick timeout. So, Let's see what he designs. Maika, Maika. Kinaka, di ba? Oh, double ping tayo, double ping. Dito ang receiver, dito banda ang receiver. Harap ka, harap ka. Or running ka. Quattro ka. Din, dito ka papalo. Din, dulo rito. Din, tingin ang bola. Din, pagpalo, sige. Zone 1, zone 5. Pag alanganin, gitna. Okay, pero focus muna tayo sa receipt. Receipt muna, receipt. Tapos, attack muna tayo, cover. Pag walang receipt, pagalawa lang receipt. Hindi na, hindi. Wala na receipt, bang. You know, at a crucial point of the game, I'm so, you know, amazed at the confidence that Coach George is giving game din doon sa defense sa likod. Because usually, wala kang makikita masyadong coaches na nagtitiwala sa mga matatangkad nilang players to actually squat and get that ball, you know? At yun ang kakasabi mo lang. At yun ang nangyari. I think I jinxed it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to the fans of the John Gates. Hindi mo naman sinasadya. Hindi ko naman sinasadya. I'm just saying. You were just, you were just stressing a point. But she's actually asking for it. Look at Din Din. She's asking for the ball. Oh! That goes outside. Bawal tumikit. Bawal huminga. Can't blink at this point of the game. But you know why? She's asking bakit, for it. Look at Dindin. At kung bakit galit si <laughs> Coach George? Because you remember he called the play for Dindin. Yes. And they did go to her in the, from the back row. That's what uh, they were asking for, Karina. Yes. Yun ang sinasabi niya ngayon kay Masakay. Yun ang hinihingi natin. Yun ang play dapat na ginawa niyo kanina. Kung ginawa niyo yun, tapos na sana yung laro. Yeah, because I feel like ito naman si Masakay, she felt like it wasn't the best receive that they've gotten. So, ibang option yung bigay. That's an excellent point. Let's see if they can get this going. Opportunity here. Masakay just gets it over. Yonko with this... And he's still alive. Sa likod na naman. Oh, and the referee calls it inside. They couldn't think of it. And Ortiz was right there. And she says, nakita niya na nakalumabas. But nonetheless, the linesman says it's in. And two big points by Santiago. Who else do you go to? And do you know, um... Sinunod nila yung uh, gusto ni Coach George to go to Din Din, even if she's at the back, go to your number one attacker, Din Din Santiago, once again. Three straight sets, 25-22, 25-13, and 26-24 is our score here. Three straight sets. Ang panalo ng oponent ng Petron and Arsicola falls to its very first loss after four games. Let's watch this last point. Santiago once again from the back row. They really thought it was outside, but you know we have linesmen. They said inside. And hard for us to tell from that angle, yes. really. And we had two replays. Napakabilis nga na aksyon. But nonetheless, nanalo nga ang kupunan ng Petro.